happy Halim. <laughs>
I will do a little bit of that stirring activity so that the meat breaks down. I'm going to heat some water in this pressure cooker, about uh, 6 to 8 cups of these. And uh, a cup of this is about 8 ounces. Once the water comes to a nice boil, um, you just add everything to it. So first I'm putting in the wheat. Then the meat. Then the dals. salt to taste. Don't add too much salt to begin with because the water is going to be drying up so just start with like a teaspoon to sort of help things cook faster. for a bit after that because I don't want it sort of you know uh, spilling out of that pressure you know what a pressure cooker behaves like if it's too stuffed. I'm going to shut this now and pray that it does not boil over. After the first whistle, just put the flame on, slow fire, simmer. It's been about 6-7 minutes since it whistled and uh, it's been cooking on simmer since then. So I've switched off the gas and uh, I will open it and see what state it's in. I'll probably cook the rest on slow fire if the meat has already gone tender because I want the meat to break up. So I think the pressure is down and I'm going to open this guy now. Let's see what's happened. Oh good. Still a lot of liquid. And so now this is going, oh everything's melted. And now this is going to keep cooking and become like a thick porridge. Let me switch on the gas. This is already smelling so good, I can't tell you. Um, I think it's that coriander powder because uh, there's no garam masala in this at all. It's only coriander powder, which is the spice element. And if you remember, even in that banjara mutton we made, um, that also didn't have any garam masala. It was just coriander powder. See how melty, melty this is. And these meat pieces need to break up. So this is going to keep simmering for a little while now and uh, I'll be coming back and giving it a stir from time to time so that it doesn't burn from the bottom and uh, let's see if the mutton sort of you know disintegrates by itself or whether it needs to be helped along the way. Let me tell you why we're doing Haleem. This season as you would have seen um, we are doing a recipe from every region that we visited in our recent holiday and uh, the holiday so far has taken us to Jabalpur which was in the last episode you might have seen that from Jabalpur we went to Kanha from Kanha we started our road trip with our dear friend Kattu Jacob Kattu Karan and we were heading to South India we were actually supposed to stop at Nagpur but uh, somewhere along the way we got really ambitious and said let's hit Hyderabad so we went off to hit Hyderabad. Ideally we should have reached Hyderabad by around 7 in the evening but uh, somewhere along the way we didn't take a turn we were supposed to take and we lost our way and uh, so we only reached Hyderabad at midnight and uh, of course at midnight all restaurants were shut the hotel we checked into didn't even have room service and here I was dreaming of Halim and biryani and 
Michika Salon and I don't know what all I was dreaming about. None of which happened and none of which was going to happen because we were leaving the next morning. So I promised myself that the minute I reach Bombay, I am going to cook myself a big pot of honey and I'm going to sit down and I'm going to eat it all by myself. You can join me. As you can see, the meat has already started kind of disintegrating. So more of this is going to happen. I just need to taste it for salt once. It's very hot, I don't want to burn my mouth. Mmm, yummy. I'm going to adjust the salt a bit. Very little. So one is not just stirring but also mashing it and since I'm doing it in the pressure cooker, I'm doing it along the side. So it becomes like this thick porridge, a nice meaty porridge, which is the ultimate in comfort food. Let's see how thick it is. This is key. Pickled ginger. Green chilies. Mint. Some Berista, and a little lemon. what Halim is. It is the most glorious comfort food. It is delicious. It is uh, like a thick thick porridge with lots of meat in it and of course wheat, whole wheat and a few lentils, dal and it's garnished with all these lovely things which add to the taste and it is normally eaten during the month of Ramzan but uh, I first tasted it in Hyderabad and every time I go to Hyderabad, I have to eat Halim. So I learned how to make it myself and there were lots of trial and errors and this is a recipe that uh, sort of worked for me. It worked for Amit and I'm sure it's gonna work for you. So try it and I'm just dying to dig into this plate. Mmm, mmm. I can't tell you how absolutely yummy that is. I'm feeling so bad for all of you because you can't taste this. But if you make it, of course you can. A lot of people serve Halim with naan and roti or other staples like that. But I prefer it by itself because A, it's got wheat, it's got meat, it's got lentils. So it really doesn't need anything else. And uh, the other thing is that that naan is just going to occupy space that I could fill with Halim. So do try it and uh, see you next week when we get to Bangalore. And meanwhile, happy Halim. <laughs> I 
and uh, if you want to know how to make birista there is a video on our channel do watch that mm -hmm.